Hello, sweet Los Angeles. When we look at all of you who have chosen to gather on this anniversary, it absolutely gives me hope about the kind of brighter future we can and must and will build together. We created this event to remember what Los Angeles experienced 30 years ago when LA struggled through five days of civil unrest following the verdict in the Rodney King beating. We learn from the past and move forward in peace. Intention to come together and unite to, you know, gather that power to move forward as one is the most beautiful thing we've done in a while. And there's a lot of crazy things that's happening in LA and in the world. So it's so beautiful to see everybody. <laughs> As minorities, we all are victimized. We all experience oppression. And it's really sad that our community still, after all this time, find a way to be divided because that makes both of us weaker. So today we're all just coming together and making our goal of unification known nice and loud with music and powerful words, gospel choir. It's all really, really beautiful. As a musician, as an artist, I think it's important that we meet other musicians and artists and other people just in general and just socialize. And I think they did a great job of, of today's event because that's what it is. Everybody get, got together and we're just you know sharing the, the love and energy. It's so beautiful to see like everybody gather for a, such a positive thing. All of y'all look so happy. Like, I don't know. It's just everybody yeah. look, just looks so peaceful. It's a good vibe. Yeah. Right? yeah. Moments like these is where you create those connections from music to listening. I'm my own demon saying question. I got my whole fame to be blessing. I take a loss as a learned lesson. I'll be your boss till I turn to ashes. I'm fighting the win. Puff in. Huh. Hop in the pants. Huh. Hop in my list. We taking the stand. Say what? So what are you saying? I'm fighting the win. Just so happy to be here. You know, being a Korean American from Wisconsin, I grew up with a lot of black, white, non-Asian people that are my family, you know, and to be able to bring it all together, I feel like this is the perfect stage to do it. I love that it's representing peace, that's representing LA, it's representing unity, so I just love being a part of that. It makes you feel warm and comfortable. It's empowering to know that this is where I'm from and to know that we can move forward past all of that we've been through. Here we are, people of all sorts of color, Asian, you know what I'm saying, yellow, black, white, whatever, it doesn't matter. Like Tupac says, you know what I'm saying, it wouldn't be black without it wouldn't be L.A. without, and I'd like to include everybody in here, everybody here tonight who's present. I've been waking up to headlines talking about a mass murder, and I'm scared to death tomorrow it might be my mother. We need love and today, talk about the pain, now we're feeling the shame. Here 40 years living, she will break her own back for her own children. Can I say we dream, say we dream, the same way that you do? like you I'm not that much different me and you so let's come together and let's laugh together and let's try to heal this wound from me having these every year reminds us what we need to do to not only reflect in terms of using our voice but also how do we collaborate uh, there's no us and them uh, it's just us and that we're going to rise together or not at all. That coalition building has been a beautiful part of, of the movement. But there's more to do, there's no doubt. But those moments of pain uh, can ignite a generation of leaders, a, a movement for change. During the Black Lives Matter movement, especially what happened with George Floyd, I saw a lot of Korean Americans and Asian Americans saying Asian Americans for black lives. And then conversely, on a very other sad note, you know, there has been a spate of violence against Asian Americans, stop Asian hate. And I've seen rallies where you've seen African Americans show up to support the Asian American community. So I think that there's a reckoning that we're stronger when we're together, we have so much more in common, and when we're unified, we have so much power in such a stronger voice. Everything that happened during the LA riots, it made the community realize that we can't be insular communities where we're just going to um, keep to ourselves just to survive. Like, we have to have a voice. We have to, you know, vote. We have to have people uh, run for office, and we have to have leaders in all sectors. This event to us is a moment to stand together and see God do something spectacular in the lives of all his people. So 30 years ago is a strange day, but today is a great day. So I think music is so important because it's just a universal language. 
You know, we may not understand the same words, but melodies live in our spirit. Hold on, change is coming. Hold on, if we say, don't worry about a thing. I believe and I wish the Korean community transform this painful memory to loving each other among different ethnic groups in LA from now on. Now it's time to join our communities, bring them together, roll up our sleeves, open our doors, reach out our hands and get involved and in getting the work done. Come on, put your hands together and let's go to work.